Welcome everyone, welcome to another preview. This is Metal Canyon, and we'll be checking out Xenonauts 2. I think we've already done that quite a while ago. Ooh, it's loud. Um, I think we've done that quite a while ago. But um, I wanted to do this for a couple of reasons. Well, I will give you a couple of... Um, uh, explanations real quick before we begin um, I wanted I am a Kickstarter so ignore this uh, because I'm actually on the demo uh, branch because I specifically did not want to do any previews or let's plays of the beta because I would just like to do a full let's play of the finished product and go in completely blind now this is not gonna be the case of course because we're gonna be doing this little preview but I have the demo on, so we don't have too many spoilers. And I will also only do, let's say, the first two missions. So um, we'll, we won't see too much. So we'll just get a general idea of how things look and how they are and so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's start a new uh, game. Obviously, this has to be changed. Uh, recruits. The difficulty uh, setting is ideal for players unfamiliar with strategy games in general. Setting is ideal for players unfamiliar with the Xenonauts franchise or the classic XCOM games. Veteran. This difficulty is ideal for players familiar with the Xenonauts franchise or the XCOM games and who have significant experience with Xenonauts 2. So we're going to be doing Veteran, I guess. Uh, we're going to be unchecking introduction. The campaign begins with a tutorial mission that explains the basic controls. So we're going to be skipping that because I've already done that just to check it out. Uh, all right, let's begin the campaign. Uh, so yes, I really want to go as blind as possible into the full release. And I'm very, very excited about it. Um, but I just thought that because of the way the game is shaping up, I would like to show you just a little bit of what to expect. And of course, before the grand release of Xenonauts 2, I will be posting a video uh, for soldier applications so you can all get your names in there. Please choose the location for your starting base. Um, so let's, uh, let's place it somewhere around here, Greece. So we get Europe, a little bit of uh, Russia, a little bit of, uh, you know, Saudi Peninsula. Um, Africa, Western Europe. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> I accidentally stopped the recording. Anyway, given the potentially cataclysmic threat posed by the extraterrestrial invasion of our planet, it is, a ra it is rather unfortunate the majority of our species remains oblivious to the war already underway. The very idea of an alien invasion seems laughable without clear evidence to support our claims. Frustratingly, a covert organization known as the Cleaners works tirelessly to suppress all such knowledge, allowing the aliens to remain cloaked in shadow as they slowly subvert our world. This state of affairs may not continue long. For reasons I hardly expect you to understand, there is a clear correlation between alien activity and strengthening fluctuations in the quantum fabric of our universe. What? The growing scale of the invasion thus occurs at a predictable rate. My estimates suggest we have at most a couple of months before the extraterrestrials are able to deploy forces of sufficient size to commence overt warfare. As a foe capable of interstellar travel, while we'll almost certainly have technology vastly superior to our own, it is imperative we use this time to prepare. Our organization must be expanded if we are to resist. We will need additional facilities and more soldiers, aircraft, to adequately protect the planet from alien attack but this will require far greater funds than we have available. Taking steps to neutralize the cleaners appears the easiest way to quickly improve the situation. However, the most important battles of this war will be fought in the laboratory. We know almost nothing about the extraterrestrial invaders. It is only by studying them and their equipment that we might turn the uh, their technology against them and force an end to this war. Thankfully, this organization now possesses a rather higher caliber of scientists than it did before my arrival. I will carry humanity to victory. I simply require you to defeat the enemy on the battlefield so I can acquire the samples I need. Ah yes, once again we have the um, egomaniac uh, of a scientist. New research projects available for study, aerial warfare and combat vehicles. <clears throat> the door was closed for a reason, Commander. <laughs> um, 
So, aerial warfare, analysis of the combat data gathered in the encounter with the uh, alien UFO may allow us to develop improved combat equipment for our aircraft and development of robotic combat vehicles that can be deployed on tactical missions to provide fire support for our soldiers. I'm assuming <clears throat> aerial warfare should really happen after the first UFO, but let's research that anyway. So as you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, my throat is just killing me. Um, Everything is much improved right now. The UI looks much cleaner and nicer than before. The uh, background art is crisper and nicer looking. Uh, the music, I love. Uh, this looks good. Prepare for the alien invasion. Okay, let's see the main base. <clears throat> so we got three hangars. We got the dropship. Uh, we've got two interceptors. We've got a storeroom. Laboratory, what is this? Oh yeah, living quarters, workshop, generator, okay, and the access lift, right? Yes. Large elevator that ferries cargo and personnel to and from the surface. It is always the first building place when you construct a new base and it generates a small amount of power. If your base falls under attack, your soldiers will rally at the access lift to begin defensive operations. Oh, where will the aliens arrive then? <clears throat> I guess they'll just teleport in everywhere. We've got 10 soldiers, 5 scientists, 5 engineers, training capacity 10 out of 0. Um, so let's make a couple more hangers. Oh yeah, you can rotate this stuff. That's pretty nice actually. Um, we've got a storeroom generator. Wait a second. What is this plus? Oh, do they have, um... Oh, look, you get bonuses, depending on where you place them. Yeah, look, generator. Interesting. Adjacency. Yeah, 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 there you go, adjacency. So you get extra bonuses if you do adjacency. That's cool. Radar, range 750 kilometers. We need a training center. Uh, let's place it here, I guess. Workshop. Uh, laboratory is 250,000. Research capacity is five, 5 out of 5, so we want another laboratory. Uh, medical center we don't have yet. 350,000. Ouch. It doesn't share any bonuses here, so... Oh. This base has insufficient power to operate the completed building. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes. Let's make another generator. 12 days. Perfect. Here for now. Even though I should probably have used this for the storeroom missile battery. That looks cool. Alright. There's the research. We've got engineering. Soldier armor. Defender body armor. Uh, produces one suit of defender armor for soldiers to wear on tactical missions. Don't we already have that or not? Stun gun, stun baton. Oh, that's cool. Make a few of these. Aircraft, angel interceptor, skyhawk dropship. Aircraft equipment, a blade of plating. Uh, there's a soldiers. You get all the stat, uh, stats for them, which is nice. Uh, and like before, you have loadouts for them. There's the base stores. No items in the stores at the present. Oh, so I guess, uh, yeah, these are unlimited. Okay. So here we go. Um, just like before, we've got various equipment possible. And, yeah, Defender Armor. There we go. They already have Tactical Suit and Defender Armor. What does that change? Doesn't appear to change any stats, really. Huh. Interesting. Um, but I guess it does provide... Oh, yeah, Armor! <laughs> this is the amount of protective armor possess uh, possessed by the soldier on the battlefield. Armor absorbs incoming damage before it is applied to the soldier's health. It is permanently lost after absorbing damage, so even the most advanced armor cannot withstand sustained hits. Uh, certain weapons may penetrate armor more effectively than others, causing a portion of their damage to bypass armor entirely. I wonder if this permanency is after the mission as well. So we've got uh, Haley Roberts with a shield, we've got some assault people with... What is this? Steel plates. No, plus the three armor. Interesting. Could give him even more. Rifleman. Here you can have some steel armor as well. Whoa. Let's 
smoke run on these modules. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's too much then. Uh, rifleman. You can also have steel plates. Or steel No, you can only have one, I guess. That's nice, though. Oh. This one is overloaded. Uh, so let's get rid of the... What is that? Smoke grenade? There we go. Perfect. We've got a heavy machine gun. Or, well... A machine gun, not a heavy machine gun. It's a really light machine gun. Yeah, you can only have one of those. Sniper, why not? You can have that as well. All right. Uh, what is your accuracy? Accuracy 66. Yeah. More than anyone else. Maybe I should have two snipers. 60. You shall have... A sniper loadout. There we go. And not a tactical suit, but the armor. What? There we go. And that is a tactical module. Sensor package that can be worn atop the soldier's tactical vest. This information uh, it provides grants a small boost to accuracy. Oh, that's why it's blue there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Can you have another one? No, these are only one per. Alright. This is good. Uh, aircraft, there we go. Angel 1. Oh, you've got pilots as well. Neutron battles, kills, armor, of health, fuel. Mm. Uh, it doesn't look like they level up, these guys. Starbuck. Ooh. Clicked away by mistake. Uh, decommission, relocate, auto cannon. Can only have the cannon. Cannons are short-range weapons that inflict low damage per shot, but generate and sustain strong damage per second due to their quick fire rate and large ammunition capacity. Cannons are effective against most types of UFOs, provided your interceptor can close the distance. Although thick armor will nullify their damage output, sustained cannon fire will steadily strip armor from the target and may render it vulnerable. And we already have ablative plating, uh, reducing the amount of damage it suffers when hit by enemy fire. And there's the... Uh, Oh. Oh yeah, you can play some where you want. That's cool. Alright, um... Xenopedia. We've already done that. Alright, I guess the only thing to do now would be to, um, speed things up. Funding report. Alien victory if two regions lost. Whoa. Okay. Uh... North America and Soviet Union give us 570,000. Western Europe, uh, 430,000. Uh, but that's why I placed the base here. Because this is the, pretty much I would say, the biggest concentration of money you can get. Because we're getting stuff from Europe, so 430. S some from Soviet Union. I mean, you know, it's protection really. We're getting money from everyone. But this is the um, sort of biggest concentration of protection I suppose you can get. Not all um, <clears throat> eggs in one basket. Stuck gun is complete. Uh, let's have some stun batons then. <clears throat> can we sell these? Yes, we can. Stun gun, three. 10,000 value. How much did we make these for? Uh, stun gun. What? 20,000. And we have to pay for engineers. Whoa, okay. Is it not going to be worth making stuff then huh interesting stun baton well i don't really want to make anything else at the moment cleaner operations side the mysterious cleaners are preparing to eliminate the staff of a polar research station presenting us with an opportunity to attack these isolated enemy operatives mission type elimination biome polar time remaining persistent oh victory rewards 250,000. let's launch the combat team skyhawk Launch. Um, yep, these guys. Launch dropship. There we go. Oh, it's gonna be nighttime, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we can wait just a little bit. How much fuel do you have? Patrol. Yeah, and now select new targets. Go. 
has reached the cleaner operation site. How should we proceed? Commence tactical battle. All right. That should be quite interesting now. Tactical combat. Now, in the introduction, I did have a bit of tactical combat. Um, just to get used to the controls. So you don't have to go all through all that, you know, basic tutorial stuff with me. But this should be fun. <clears throat> I love the music in this game. A cleaner combat team appears to be attacking the staff of a remote Arctic research facility. We should eliminate them and recover the corpses and equipment for further study. Why corpses? There we go, we already see... Oh, actually, two of them. So as you can see, the graphics are much, much improved. They're all 3D now. You can uh, rotate your screen. Uh, in fact, you can select free rotate, so you don't rotate in uh, increments like this. Um, and it's just it's just a lot nicer. So, Corp uh, Corporal Wang Ji Jihuan? Jihuan? I don't know. Um, 100% to hit. Hell yeah. Take the shot. Oh, nice. Oh, firing back. Corporal Haley. I'm just going to make sure there's no one here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're not going to be hitting much. I really like the cover system in Xenonauts, and now Xenonauts 2 as well. If you stand next to a cover, uh, it will count for anyone trying to hit you, but it will not count for you, so you can fire over it. Unless, of course, it's, you know, uh, high enough that it blocks shots completely, or like these trees. Um, like this, for example. So yeah, 100%. Uh, but because there's this in the way, it's minus 40%, and it's a pistol, so, you know, it's not the best to, uh, be shooting anyway. Uh. Ooh, there is someone there. Not the best position for the sniper, I guess. Who is it? What? Where did that come from? It must have been, like, here. There he is. Okay, get into cover. I don't know what yellow means. And green. Oh, green seems to be full cover, and yellow seems to be half cover. Okay, crouch. Mm, 28%. Oh, but you hit. Very nice, Ruth. Corporal Misha has a machine gun. Also, there is a really cool option here. When you move someone like this, you can then hold shift and see what the hit percentage will be from that position. So we can try this, for example. Um, actually, I'm going to move here first, crouch, and now shoot. Well, it's still only 22%. Nice. I actually hit. I like the, uh, the trails of bullets. Looks very nice. Um, let's look through the window here. Even though we're about to use practically all the action points. Let's crouch as well. Sergeant Fred White. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Hmm. That's, uh... Let's try it. Excellent. 60 damage. Red, white. Right. Carol Turner is going to wait here in case someone comes through the doors. Probably should be crouching. Just in case. Marco Meyer. Uh, where to get you? Here. Because we're going to be storming this place. Unless someone comes from this side, and then we can end the turn. Our snipers are completely exposed, but... Gotta play aggressive! Oh, they're trying to kill civilians. There's a lot of firing going on. Oh, that was a civilian, I think. Yep. 
but that's good. We're not in danger anymore. Oh, civilians are also armed. What was that? Someone died, possibly from fatal wounds, either a civilian or a cleaner. Nothing here, huh? The door is open. Huh. Didn't want to do that, but... Yeah, there's another civilian there, so there's definitely a cleaner here somewhere. Just pop here. There they are. Hmm. Can't really get into cover anywhere. I don't want to stay exposed. There we go. Perfect. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Now I, I have a shield and you can destroy me. Oh, I can actually go up. I cannot find a path. Oh, yeah. Because they have a shield. It's kind of kind of unwieldy. Still no one. Alright. Oh, you can go through the window. Oh. Nice. Okay. Sergeant Fred White. We need Corporal Wang over here to help. Again, and get into proper cover. Seven. That one is gonna kill that civilian unless we get him. Let's try to do so. Uh, already don't have enough time to actually shoot. That sucks. Yeah, that civilian's dead. <laughs> I wonder what happens if they kill too many civilians. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, oh, three. Won't be able to crouch. And there might be a... Yeah, exactly. That's probably not the best idea. But we can go here. Alright, these guys. Make sure there's nothing else here. It doesn't look like it. Run, run! And that's that. End the turn. Yeah, this feels so much nicer. I mean, it's, it's Xenonauts 1, but with huge improvements across the board. <coughs> Graphically, UI-wise, ouch. Um, oh, what, oh, shoot, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> There's so many cleaners. Okay, civilians now, good. Run! Shoot someone! Okay, well, we lost a little bit of health. It's not too bad, actually. Where was that coming from? Where is that cleaner? There he is. Unfortunately, can't really do much about it right now. They can still shoot at us from there. So wait a second, let's go here first. Okay, uh, we need a... Just a point blank multi shot or well, triple shot. Dina Pavlova does not appear to have any critical wounds, so that's good. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, still wouldn't be enough. 22%. Not enough. See that one? Wait, you've got grenades, right? Flashbang. Or just a normal fragmentation grenade. Nice. So that's, uh, he's completely exposed now. Now we can bring our sniper out. 
and just do that. Nice. Carol Turner. And remember, we've got unlimited grenades and such, so um, I think we should be good. I'm moving them there into the exposed position because I'm assuming we're going to be killing this one here. With a sniper, 72. Nice. Unfortunately, can only shoot once like that. All right, 33. 29. We can still crouch. Excellent. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to kill. Uh, let's go upstairs, actually. My sniper should really be here, I suppose. Hello? Hey, I wanted to say aliens, but I guess these are just some sort of like exalt type people. Why are you hiding here? You're a civilian with a gun. Go and shoot them. I know, I know, it's not in your job description. Um, I don't want you exposed here, so there. In the turn. Yeah, this feels, this feels nice. The sounds, the, uh, the graphics, the animations, the, uh, bullet trails are really nice. Ooh, he's suppressed, which means, um, he loses all action points this turn, and also loses half action points next turn. Was that a civilian? No, that was my soldier. Friendly activity. Oh! Civilian just jumping down. Ouch! That hurt, Misha. Oof, that was bad. Okay. Hello! Okay. What? How are you missing? Come on. There you go. Damn. Can you shoot past this? Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, nice. No one here. A lot of cleaners there, though. Need to check this area, even though I I believe that if they were here, we already would have seen them come out by now. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go for that one. Because the sniper does so much damage, I don't want to waste it on this one. And see, Maria only has half of her uh, uh, action points now. There we go. Oh, and that was it, I guess. Oof, almost lost a soldier. That wasn't too great. <clears throat> In the uh, actual let's play, I guess I'll have to be a little bit more careful. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm not gonna be careful, I'm just gonna... Just gonna charge everything. Alright. There we go. Wounded 11 days, 4 days, and 27 days. Holy moly. And they got a Crimson Heart. Soldiers will be granted the Crimson Heart if they suffer more than 30 HP of damage during a simple, single combat mission. The award of a medal will grant a soldier plus one to all attributes. Nice. Would be nice if they also showed you kills here uh, in this mission. Ten cleaner corpses. Locals survived three. Then on its lost zero, aliens killed ten. <laughs> well, these weren't really aliens. Um, so all these guys have... No, these are ranks, I guess, because they've also leveled up their stuff. All right. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. For now, that's going to be it. But we are going to be continuing next time as well, uh, because we want one more combat mission, probably, before we end this little quasi Let's Play preview. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my Patreons. And I'll see you all in the next part of... Xenonauts 2 preview. Bye-bye.